Hello everyone, it's Yemi here and it's Reinvented Youth Vision. This vision is to help awaken youth to know who they are in Christ and also to know that we are being set apart by Christ himself to do great things. So today we'll be talking about how we can know our identity, our purpose in life and our vision. I believe this is a very crucial topic that we really need to know. We need to know our vision. Especially we youth, we find it difficult to know what God's will for our life is. We find it difficult to know our purpose in Christ, our identity. Are we free? All these questions we'll be talking about today before we start from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 which says that for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. So I believe each and every one of us we have a destiny to fulfill. We are being created for a specific purpose and we need to know who we are in Christ so that we can discover that purpose for which we have been created. Today I have a very special friend of mine. He's the founder of Reinvented Youth Vision and he will be talking to us about how we can know our identity because this is very, very crucial and uh, how we can also get to know our purpose and our vision. Life without purpose is time without meaning. And we see that in our society today, especially among the young generation of youths, most of us go through life not knowing who we are or why we've been created. But I like the book of Jeremiah 1 verse 5, which says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nation. We're going to realize that even before you were put on earth, you had already existed. The fact that you were not here in this virtual reality does not, does not mean that you were not existing. You were existing in God. We can even say God was pregnant with you before he put you on this earth. You see, it's, it's like God was waiting for the appropriate moment to put you here. So when we, when we realize that God has blessed us on this earth for this particular time, we're going to realize that, wow, then there is really a purpose. Proverbs 20 verse 27 says, The human spirit is the lamp of the Lord that sheds light on one's inmost being. Meaning that the first step to know who we are is to know God. Because it is through God, His Spirit, that He reveals to us. The problem with nowadays is that we've become physically focused people and we don't realize that God speaks to us through revelation. For us to know our identity, we need to know God. So knowing God helps us to know who we are and what God has said about us. Wow. That's really interesting. Yeah. So is it possible that I know God and I still don't know my identity or is it that, what do you think? Well, you know God. Mm -hmm. Just the fact that you know God, then you know your identity because you know that you're a child of God. You see? Now the next question is, what has God blessed me on this earth to do? You see? So I can be a Christian, I'm assured of my salvation. That is the hope I have. You see that? But I can be living a miserable life. That's true. I can be lost in depression. I can be lost in insecurities. I can be lost in fear. But I know that I am saved. Do you get it? I know that I'm a child of God. You see? But I can also be lost in self-ambition. Trying to accomplish a lot of things to fulfill myself. You see, Jesus Christ says, I am the true vine. But, meaning that there are false vines. Mm -hmm. False vines, we can talk about education, philosophy, science, religion. Those are false vines, which people have hooked themselves to, to find fulfillment. Wow. Okay, so now, how do I know my purpose in life? We can realize our purpose from a lot of things. Like the way you say it in the introduction, you know, 
from the desires, the hopes, the thoughts that we have, the ideas, the makeup that we have. God has blessed us in such a way, He's made us and formed us in such a way that we are able to know our talents, our gifts, our abilities. And from those things, our concerns, we can discern the purpose of God. Wow, thank you very much. That was really interesting. And I would really like to ask a question. How, what, what is the difference between purpose and vision? And how are they related to you know, our goals and our plans and in life? How can we link all this together? Well, thank you very much for that question. Purpose, vision, goals and plans, they, are, they all seem synonymous, but there are some differences that we can notice from these words. You see, purpose is the original intent for why God created you. It's like the original reason for your existence. And vision is the revelation of that purpose. We can see from Proverbs 29, 18. I'll just get one phrase which says, where there is no revelation, people cast off restraint. It's like saying, where there is no vision, there is no discipline. Our plans are our, in our guess on how best to accomplish the vision. But vision is constant. But normally plans change. We can make a lot of plans on how we're going to accomplish the vision. But never confuse plans with the vision because the vision is always constant. I've had a lot of plans on how to accomplish this vision, for example. But sometimes plans don't work out and you have to change the plan. You see that? But the vision is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever because it is God's purpose. And the goals are a point of measure on the accomplishment, how you are progressing how you are advancing towards the vision. So basically, I think that is how we can really distinguish between purpose, vision, goals, and plans. But they are all related. That's why we talk about goal setting. But goal setting should always be in line with our purpose and vision. And we're going to realize that, look at the Tower of Babel, for example. Those guys. Those guys had a lot of potential. God placed potential in them, but look at what they were using that potential for. It was for an ungodly purpose. It was to make a name for themselves. And so God decided to disunite them, you see? But God gave them the potential, you see? So they could have used that potential to realize their original intent for creation. When God creates us, He gives us ability and we are supposed to stretch that ability, test that ability by giving it a responsibility, you see? And that's why we're going to find that without responsibility, our ability and potential lies. Plan prayerfully, proceed purposefully, pursue persistently, accomplish giving glory to God, the author and finisher of our vision. John. 15 verse 5. I'll just read it from the Word of God. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. So, we actually realize that apart from God, we can do nothing because He's our vine. We are to stay connected in a constant relationship with Him and through it all, as time goes on, vision takes time. And we can have visions, like as Yemi said, for various aspects of our lives. But let us always take precedence over our purpose for our life. So, basically, the most important thing that we realize from it all, actually, it all comes down to God. You see, a relationship with God is the primary secondary and last thing and everything else adds up so thank you very much guys for joining us and looking forward to joining you on our next segment as we continue talking about identity purpose and vision and 
I just want to appreciate you, Yemi, very much for this opportunity to have this moment. And you guys who are watching, it's a pleasure and privilege to be speaking to you guys on these subjects because I believe I'm not the perfect person to talk about this. But you guys even listening is a privilege. We are helping each other. Therefore, thank you guys and remember to like our Facebook page, YouTube channel and the website <coughs> reinventedyouthvision.org so that we can continue building each other up in Christ. And those who have not yet received Christ, I'm telling you today that you need to receive Christ in your lives because it's a free gift that God has given us. Therefore, you can choose to accept the gift or not, but that is your own fault. You are going to miss out on the blessings of God. You are going to miss out on salvation. You are going to miss out on revelation. You are going to miss out on knowing who you are. So, thank you guys. See you guys on the next segment.